Good morning, everybody. I'm Attilio Bugina from uh, Sales Director from Sinter Sud, here with my colleague and friend, Klaus. Good morning, everyone. My name is Klaus Schrubin, and as Attilio said, I'm the Marketing Director for Hyperion Materials and Technologies. It's so very nice to be here today. So today we would like to introduce, first of all, our new synergy, and uh, that's a recent acquisition from uh, Hyperion Company, that is a worldwide company, big organization, ex Sandvik acquired Sandvik division for Carbide, and then recently acquired also other companies in the range of uh, Carbide rods production in order to extend the range. That's so I go ahead with the Sun slides just to introduce yourself. So that's just an agenda, very quickly. So we we are going to start with the first important point. So, which is our project with our three companies joined together. So first of all, to the mother company, Hyperion from class. Thank you, Atilio. And as Atilio mentioned, uh, Hyperion is really sprung out of uh, Sandvik, NG. So Hyperion as a company was formed in 2013. Uh, by joining what was then uh, Sandvik Hard Materials and uh, uh, General Electric Super Abrasives or Diamond Innovation as it was called when uh, Sandvik acquired that company as well. So today we have a very strong material portfolio. Uh, we have a, a lot of legacy grades, a lot of experience within car, but, but then also obviously with the uh, GE Diamond Innovation in background, we also have a, a, a fantastic history of uh, making diamond products, PCBM products, and, and things like that. So the material strength with Hyperion is, is really, really strong. So, and it's a broad portfolio, global company with a global footprint. And as I, I tell you mentioned, uh, since uh, Hyperion was uh, sold off from uh, Sandvik in 2018, we have been looking for other companies to join the group in order to strengthen us uh, additionally. And the first acquisition we made was uh, AFC in Germany, another fantastic company with a very strong legacy uh, and, and some really, really good products, particularly when it comes to coolant technology and carbide rods, which was something uh, Hyperion wasn't uh, that strong in. Uh, but they also have a very, very good capability to do a lot of special uh, for customers' needs rather than your standard products, but uh, a lot of made for unique for, for customers. So it's a really good complement to Hyperion. And now we're also then joining Sintersuit to the family, which we're very proud of, but I'll leave it to you, I tell you, to describe more about Sintersuit. Yeah, that's a, the very last acquisition. So it, it happened just two months ago, 31st of July. So now we had also our company, Sintersuit, join this family. So we had that our expertise, uh, our technology, our innovation, in addition to their process, their experience. So we are going to combine our experience of the three partners to offer to the market a new innovative idea of offering material, technology, expertise to our end users, our customers. So what are the values class we are going to yeah. join together and which are the main milestones we are going to offer to our end user customers? Exactly. And I think the, the slides kind of sums it up really, really well. The, the first benefit a lot of customers obviously is, uh, is an even broader portfolio. I think all company comes in with great products and, and big portfolios, but taken together, it, it, I would say it's an unrivaled uh, assortment of product that a customer can choose from and, and really find something they need. The other uh, big advantage of joining these three companies together is building an even stronger supply chain. And I guess anyone that has lived through the last 18 months with a lot of new things popping up and trade barriers and uh, God knows what, uh, being in a way can really appreciate having supply from more than one place. But, uh, and today we, you know, we, we have four different units uh, throughout the world that uh, make carbide rods, which is making it really strong from a, a supply chain perspective, which is good. But maybe the most important thing of all these things is that we're a non-rival partner. It's as I said, we, we obviously have a legacy with Sandvik, uh, but at that point, Sandvik, as many others in the branch, was also selling finished products, which we don't do, right? That we just supply excellent uh, blanks to tool makers, and we don't intend to compete with them, which I think uh, is very, very unique in this market. Yeah. So. so.
So now just back to to Sinter Sud. So our perspective changed a lot during the last three months because you know from a family company, 50 people, just a small company, family ownership. Now what does change for Sinter Sud by joining this big adventure, big company, big organization of over 2,000 people all over the world. <laughs> a lot of good things, we hope, right? But I think that one of the most important questions we hear is maybe from current customers to, to Sintersuit today. They maybe is a worry, okay, you've been bought by this company, what's going to happen now? And, and the simple answer to that question is it is really nothing. Uh, the, the existing relationships between customers and sales, many, many of them with yourself, I tell you, is going to remain the same, right? We don't intend to make any drastic changes in how uh, Sintersuit make a business or with the customers, how they service customer and all these things. But the, the corporation is going to be more uh, on technology, on products, and how we service our customers even better together as a group. Thank you, thank you, Klaus. And so now back to something uh, more technical. What we are going to offer, thanks to this joint venture, this uh, exchange of expertise, process, process pro production, etc. What we are going to offer as new products, new technology to all our customers? Yeah, on, on this slide, you see a really good example of what, what I was talking about, that uh, we, we're trying to put the strings together for these three companies and, and, and really make something unique in the market. Uh, and that example you have, uh, you know, up here I've had a grade h 10 f which is a kind of an industrial leading grade recognized by many as being a really premier product. But it's been lacking uh, some capabilities, it's predominantly not being able to supply it with uh, coolant. And since we now have AFC in the family, they have an excellent capability to do coolant. We have the h 10 f we put them two together, we get something that's even better that yeah. didn't exist before, right? That's a, a for very first example of yeah. the kind of synergy we are going to create thanks to this exchange of cooperation in terms of technology and experience. Yeah, exactly, exactly. And the, and the last point on this slide is similar to that uh, GP10 grade, right? It, with, Again, with a legacy with Sandvik, there was, we had a lot of constraints on what we should and shouldn't do because, again, Sandvik was competing on the finished uh, side of, of the business. But since that ownership is now and we're free and we can service uh, the market as the markets want to be served, we also saw there is a need for, for a product that uh, is still a very good product and has a lot of the characteristics of h 10 f but it also have a, uh, a different price point, which means that if you can't use the full potential of H10 F grade, but still looking for something good, maybe have a lot of uh, shorter runs in your factory, run more agile, then GP10 is a good example where you can really uh, have a good product at, at, a, at a good price. Thank you. And go ahead, also regarding the, the milestone, our values we are going to share with with uh, with Iperion, so that's uh, we are going to talk about our core business, our, our core values that we are going to share also with our customers, and but also first of all between us as three independent company, but where we share our ideas, our values, our respect each other. So talk a little bit about about that. Yeah, I mean, maybe this is kind of one of the things that uh, looks different at first when you start to, oh, here comes the big Hyperion and the small family company in, in, in southern Italy, right? But when you start to kind of look a bit closer to things, you will realize the difference isn't that big. I mean, yes, Sandvik is, uh, or, no, sorry, Hyperion has, uh, has a lot more employees and we, uh, we operate maybe on, on a global scale, but at the core, I think the, the values that we operate are very, very similar, right? I, I think what I've seen from your organization, I mean, your, your attention to customers' needs is, is, is exemplary, right? It's your, you live and breathe with, with what your customer needs. Yeah. And, and the same thing is with Hyperion. We really, if, if, if I would put anything on, on these kind of five core values that we developed over the last few years, this our ambition and drive to make sure that it's our customer's success that ultimately create our success, right? If, if, if we don't do well in the market, we will not even do that either. I think that's, that's kind of very, very similar to two small companies. So. And I agree that that's exactly what we are already doing in, uh, in our small organization and now sharing these big values with uh, our big group, big organization. 
that's the key point for our uh, for our company. That's one one fo we we are gonna, we are going to focus our attention on this important and uh, to drive also your attention to this important key point for us. We are not tool makers. Actually, on the market there are several different organization competitor for us. Actually be supplying over our customers but also competitor of their customers because they offer also finished tools that's something we are not going to do and also the acquisition as class we're going to 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 remind to everybody uh, look forward to continue to go to this direction something more you can add no, I think you're perfect on the spot here, Atiyo. We talked about this point before, right? But if there's anything that can make us unique on the market, is having this legacy from one of the premier tool makers in the world, but not actually competing with any of our customers, right? So I think there's a, there's a lot of good products out on the market you can buy, but also some of them you need to buy from, they will also compete with you as a, as a tool maker, right? And, and that's, that's definitely something that's Hyperion. And, and you probably noticed that, yes, we have acquired a few companies, we'll probably continue to do so, but we're not intending to compete with our customers. We're not planning to become a, a tool maker, but we're, we're just making sure that the tool maker gets excellent products so they can shine and, and win business. That's, uh, let me add that that's also a feedback uh, the first feedback we collect from our customer after this acquisition is very positive because they feel also the necessity to be independent in terms of supply chain and to just to avoid to, conf to have conflict with their supplier and so that's what we're going to offer now.